life before the Elite controller? No, it doesn't exist. Love at first touch, you feel the difference. As soon as you hold it, without even turning it on, you know that this is way better than anything you've ever used before. If there's anything to crush on, it's definitely this. It's pretty much a must for any shooter. You can short throw the triggers, long throw the triggers. Maybe your Soldier 76 in Overwatch, you can keep a little more control if you pop that hair trigger down and just have half a pull. You just have a natural advantage there. With the Elite Controller, you'll feel the difference, you'll see the difference. The way it sits in your hand, it's just a really solid feel to it. The grip, the weight of it, it's a one-up. This is my tool of the trade. And of course, the paddles. Just being able to map buttons right here and have them ready to go, I think that's awesome. With Forza Horizon 3, there's no other option. You want to be able to shift and drive. You want to get that fastest lap. Having those paddles makes a big difference. It's absolutely more effortless than a standard controller. Being able to pop out the sticks and trade them for something I like better. Experimenting with different settings. It seems like a thousand different ways you can play. Throw in those longer sticks for those longer pulls or those longer draws. The controller really helps close the skill gap a little bit with other players. The thing I love most about the controller is the ability to custom map buttons. You hop into the app, start mapping different things, see how it feels. You can load two different mappings. Customization is simple. You can just flip it on the fly. How I react, how I play, what I can do, it helps my game. You can give it your personality, what you need it to do at that particular moment. You open this up and you're just, this is the holy grail. The moment that you use that Elite controller, it puts the entire experience at a new level. If you want the best, this is the best.